Alrighty, hello guys, welcome you faces back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today I actually have a cool idea. Today we are going to be building an armored car. Now if you guys don't know what kind of armored car I'm going to be building, it is going to be based off of the Rolls Royce armored car, which if you guys don't know what it looks like, Google it. It'll be, um, it's a cool thing, it's a cool looking thing. Anyway, I don't know how I'm going to do it in this game, I don't know how I'm going to build it in, but we're going to go ahead and try. So, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Okay, so first things first, so let's go to compartments and get rid of this. There we go, we're going to make it quite small, we're going to go ahead and uh, figure out these as well. Uh, essentially the tracks, I, I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'm thinking width, we make really, really tiny. Uh, we go ahead and sort of get rid of um, uh, the sprocket, we're going to go ahead and try and hide that a little bit. Uh, and then from there, I think we can get on with it. Whether this will work, whether this won't work, I'm not sure. Uh, but we'll see. So, let's say we have a road wheels. Let's say we have spacing between them of a lot. So we only have two. That would be amazing. But can we do that is the question. Um, I don't seem to be able to actually make it go forwards all that much. So this seems to be all we can do. Yikes. Oh, actually, there is more we can do to this, because you can actually change this between 1 and... Oh, between 0 and 6 meters, I think. So we're going to go ahead and try and make this 3 by moving this guy out the way. Go ahead and make this 3 meters. Bosh. Oh, no, actually, it's stuck at 2. Turns out it's stuck at 2. Okay, that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and make our idler wheel very, very tiny so we can't see it. Uh, we're going to keep these guys because it might be kind of important for us. So we're going to go ahead and leave those guys right there. And we're going to go to the idler wheel as well. And we're going to make it only one, and that'll be fine. There we go. So, uh, let's go through this. We need to go to our road wheels. Those guys are going to be actual wheels, and hopefully we can actually make them quite big. So, they're going to be, like, I guess about this big. Let's go ahead and move this forwards until we get that one back in. There we go. And, yeah, that's going to be awesome. So, road wheels, get rid of that, but make the width really big. And there we go. We got ourselves some wheels. Nice. Actually, let's do two. Um, but also make it skinnier, if that makes sense. So width of it, a little bit skinnier, just to about there. Okay, good. The return rollers, let's go ahead and get rid of those. And that is going to be awesome. I don't know whether this is going to work, but we're going to try. Okay then, so from there, what we're going to do is go back to the top, make the separation a lot less, so we can barely see the actual tracks, and that is going to be amazing. Hopefully we can actually hide the rest of it in here as well, and that will be great. So... Let's go to this and start working on the actual tank itself, or the car, I guess. Uh, and hopefully this will actually work out. Whether it will or whether it won't, I'm not sure. Uh, but let's go ahead and select all of this, drag it down to about there, and that is awesome. The only other thing that I can think of doing as well is actually lowering these guys down so we can barely see them. And we're going to go ahead and do a similar thing with this guy as well. Uh, which I can't actually grab for some reason. Uh, but it is our idler, so if we can do the height of that lower, that will be awesome. There we go. Same with the sprocket, if I can lower that down too, that'd be great. Yeah, I think this'll work. Alright, so we have a car. Look at that, we actually have some sort of a car. Interesting. So, we're gonna go to compartments, we're gonna go to edges, and we're gonna split this right here. From there, we're gonna go ahead and lift up both of these sides, just a little bit so it covers that, and that will be awesome. Yes! Okay. The next thing that I want to do is uh, lift up the back end, because this is where the armored car is essentially going to start. Actually, I want to split this bit in half too, so uh, let's go to edges again, go ahead and split this one. And we're going to go ahead and... oh, how do I want this to work? Grab this guy and this guy, if we grab these guys as well. Uh, we are going to have it sort of pickup truck styled, but not really. Like, kind of, but not really. Uh, I don't really know how that's going to work, but we'll see. So, go to faces, let's go ahead and extend this guy upwards right here in the center. That's going to go upwards quite a bit like so. And we're going to go ahead and angle it backwards as well. Just a little bit, just like that. Okay, actually, no. No, that's not what's going to happen. Extend this guy, go ahead and bring it upwards quite a bit. We're going to go ahead and bring this guy... Oh, that's not going to work. That is actually not going to work. Hang on, undo, 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 undo. Extend it yet again, there we go. And now we can bring it upwards, and we can bring it inwards, and we can leave it like this. Yes, it might not look amazing, but it is... it is gonna work, I think. <laughs> there we go, okay, so it looks weird, but that's okay. Right, grab all the front end, let's go ahead and poke that back backwards a lot. There we go. And then we can extend it again, bring it forwards. And I think I need to squidge it, honestly. I think a little bit of squidging needs to happen here, so we're gonna go ahead and squidge it a little bit like this. I might be able to somewhat... I don't know, fix that bit right there, but I'm not sure. 
Uh, but there we go. Let's do this. Okay, interesting. Spawn it in. Let's see what that looks like. Weird. It looks weird. But I think it'll work. Okay, so uh, let's go to compartments. Go ahead and extend this guy upwards a tiny bit more. There we go. Excellent. Actually, drag it downwards. We'll build it slightly differently. So extend that again. There we go. Go to points. Grab this guy and send this bit backwards. As well as that, we're going to lift this guy upwards. And that is where our driver is going to go. It is a little bit odd, but I think it'll be fine. So let's go to crew really quickly. Viewports. Yes. Driver is going to be like two of these. And we're going to go ahead and shove them right there like this. Okay, can it move? It can. Yeah, so you can actually just about see the tracks on the bottom, but you can't see them on the top, so that's fine, actually. That's okay. All right, it's working. <laughs> it is working, guys. Nice. Okay, go to compartments. Let's go ahead and try and grab all of this side. I don't know whether what I'm about to try and do is going to work, but essentially, I want to push this inwards a little bit. Okay. Uh, I then want to go to each bit of this on the side, too, uh, including the front end. If I can, yes, and essentially just extend these guys outwards uh, a little bit like this. There we go. Okay, that makes it look a little bit better. It makes it look a little bit like a steam train, though, and I'm not sure how I feel about that. But let's go ahead and bring this guy out at the front. I'm actually just going to go ahead and cover that. That's going to be fine. And it still looks weird, but hopefully not too, too weird. Yeah. Okay, so from the bottom of this, I'm going to go ahead and extend these guys inwards. Whether this is going to make it look better or worse, I'm unsure, but let's go ahead and do it anyway. There we go. And from the rear, we're going to go ahead and bring those guys inwards a little bit too, which does sort of expose the back end. But if I go ahead and grab these guys, we can extend it backwards a little bit too, and that'll be fine. It does look a little bit odd though, doesn't it? It looks a little bit strange. I'm going to extend these guys up as well because I can, and leave it like that. Weird looking, still works though. Okay, so what do we think of this? So far, I'm actually kind of excited about it, but I don't know where the driver's door and stuff are going to go, so that's going to be kind of um, an interesting thing to add to this. But I think, so far, we'll actually leave a lot of this as is, and then the turret will actually just go on top of this, and that should be fine. So we'll leave this as is, uh, we're just going to go ahead and decorate it now, and then we'll go from there. So, how do we actually go about decorating this? I don't really know. Um... Yeah, I'm not sure. Crew hatches. Let's go ahead and add this to the side. Uh, we're going to do it like so. Yes. And I kind of want to just extend it upwards just so we can climb in and out of this thing uh, if necessary, which honestly we should be able to do. So we're going to go ahead and add that right there. If you need to climb into the car, you climb in through the side. Good. Okay. Uh, other viewports and stuff. We're going to go ahead and add this guy. This is going to be our little window. So we're going to shove that on there like this. And we're going to make it longer so that it actually looks like a window. Okay, good. Yes, I think that works. Let's go ahead and put it up the top. There we go. Okay, sick. That actually looks pretty cool. Um, on the rear, I don't know what we're going to put back there, but I have an idea. Let's go to liveries. This is like the earliest I've ever been in liveries. Go to custom. Oh, man. Okay, right. What do we think? Guys, what do we think of this? Smack that on there. Make it a little bit wider. There we go. We have a log background. Thank you, my Bobby. That's cool. Okay, just to add to this, to make it look a little bit better as well, we are going to go to uh, spares, and we're going to go ahead and attach these guys, which are our spare wheels, and they're going to go here. Unfortunately, they're actually massive. <laughs> they are so big. Uh, maybe we can actually just attach it onto the back like so. And if I wanted one here, I guess I could. So I could just add it to there. It looks a little bit odd uh, being just there like that, but I guess that's fine. If I could make it slightly smaller, that'd be epic. But that's not something I could do, unfortunately. That's quite sad. Okay, so we've got this done uh, as to how we want it. So that, I think that's all fine, actually, the way we've got it already. So we'll leave it pretty much as is. Uh, we are going to go ahead and add some little, like, fender-looking things using these guys. Uh, so we'll attach that onto there like so. And then if we go ahead and extend it over the edge, that is like a little fender for our front wheel. If we then actually go to fenders themselves, we might be able to actually attach some stuff to this uh, to make it look a little bit nicer. So let's go to placeable. Uh, let's go ahead and grab one of these, and we will actually attach it onto there. Make it a little bit smaller, and we'll attach it onto there like this. We'll go ahead and make it a little bit longer, and we'll go ahead and angle it too. Uh, and I think that's actually pretty awesome. Yes. And then if I can, let's go ahead and do this too. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that actually looks pretty sick. We're then going to go ahead and get another one of these, attach it onto there. If I can, select it, flip it, and turn it around. And we should get ourselves a pretty cool looking thing. So if we do this kind of thing, there we go. 
Uh, I will need to push both of these guys inwards. So let's go ahead and do that first. And then we need to sort out what kind of angle this one is at. So all we have to do is this. And I'm actually going to go ahead and lower this one down. Uh, to about there, and we'll leave it pretty much just like this. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to look like it's going to work. And I think it does. We've done that on one side. We need to do the same thing on the other side too, though. If I can select it, I would. But I don't know whether I can. Go to the inside. Okay, flip this one. There we go. It's in the right place now. That actually looks pretty cool. Yeah. Alright, so what do we actually do with the front end then? Uh, this is going to be kind of an interesting decision. I don't really know. So, the real thing is sort of built weirdly, uh, in terms of if we go to crew, and we go to riveted panels, it actually has essentially these guys, uh, on the front, alright, and they are kind of like squidged, alright, quite a lot like this, and then let's go and squidge them this way too, so they somewhat fit, and essentially, they are angled, so they're kind of like, they're kind of like this, so if we can move them into position, so let's say bring it this way, then bring it this way. They kind of go like this, alright? So, I mean, it's a bit weird. But that's essentially how they are. And I, I don't know whether to keep it or whether to move it. I think I'll keep it, though. So let's go ahead and do this like that. There we go. And I don't know. I think that's kind of cool. We'll leave it. We're also actually going to go ahead and take these guys and essentially just build them onto the side of here as well. So let's go ahead and uh, push this down and in. Actually, let's do multiple. Uh, so that we could get them to fit better. So let's go ahead and do this. Grab this guy and this guy and stick them inside here like so. I am actually going to lift them up a little bit and also leave them raised. Because uh, I think that will be awesome. So let's do this and leave that quite, quite, quite big. There you go. Uh, we're then going to do a similar thing to this bit. So one there and one next to it. Slightly backwards. That's okay. Grab both of these guys and fit those in as well. Here we go. Fit them into there like that. I want them in the same location as these ones, so we'll do this, and if I can, let's move it upwards to about there. Okay, that actually looks kind of cool too. We'll keep it. Okay, so what do we do with the front end then? I think we actually go ahead and attach these guys onto here like this, obviously, so they are on. That's good. We're going to go ahead and angle it forwards a little bit, and also do this. There we go. Uh, move it this way, and also upwards, just a tiny bit too. We're then going to go ahead and get the rear section. Okay, and put it on there like that, I guess. Go inside and flip it, because it needs flipping. Boop. Actually, no, flip it and turn it around. That's what we need to do. Okay, so spin it like so. Good. And then we're actually just going to go ahead and make it really long. And try and fit it in like this. So, in fact, put it on there like that. That's good. Attach that directly to this. I'm going to angle it slightly. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to leave it like this. However... Less long. There we go. Do that. That actually looks pretty cool. So we'll leave it as is. Yes. Alright, it's the same on the other side already. And now we're looking good. Okay, so extra detail does need to be added to this in certain places. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to this guy right here on the front. And I'm going to delete it. I'm also going to do the same on the other side. Because at the minute, they were like opposite to each other. And that does never... That, that never looks good. So this guy to this guy to this guy. Bosh. Oh, that's not quite right actually, it turns out. Oh no. Oh no, I think it's this one. Oh, to this one, to this one, to this one? Okay, there we go. This one, this one, and this one. Yeah, okay, that's right. Okay, this guy, this guy, and this guy, Phil. This guy, this guy, and this guy, Phil. And there we go. It looks a little bit weirder now that we've done that, but it's not too bad. Okay, good. So, now that we've done this, let's go ahead and get some lights. Lights seem like a cool little addition to this. And we're actually just going to go ahead and place them right here. They might look a little bit odd. But they also look kind of cool. So leave them there. That looks awesome. That actually looks really cool. Okay, I'm then going to go to the back. We're going to go to stowages. And I am going to attach a few of these guys onto here. Obviously, I'm going to make them small enough to fit uh, on the side like so. And I'm going to go ahead and make them a little bit bigger so that they actually fit along the side. Yes. All right, go ahead and attach that onto there like so. And leave it as is. Okay. Uh, the other thing that we can do as well is actually attach these guys onto the rear of there. Might look good, might not look good, I don't know. Uh, lights, go ahead and put the rear lights on. Smash them onto there like that, and that's pretty cool. So far, this is actually working a lot better than I expected. Honestly. And before anyone mentions it in the comments down below, I know it doesn't quite look like the Rolls Royce one, because the Rolls Royce one has a few more angles than this. Um, but that doesn't necessarily matter, as long as it looks somewhat World War 1-y. 
Um, I'm happy. I'm actually very happy. Cool. So from here, we're going to go ahead and add some small ones of these on the rear of this. Going to attach that right there, and I'm going to do the same thing right here. There we go. Awesome. Uh, some of these might as well go on the rear as well, so let's go ahead and do this right here. I am going to flatten it off so it doesn't look quite as um, chunky. And I'm going to go to the other side and do the same thing like so. There we go. Good. Grab this guy and grab this guy. Squidge him a little bit. And that is awesome. Yeah. Move it backwards. There we go. Okay. What do you guys think? What do you guys think of this? Let me know in the comments down below. I actually really like it. All right. So what I'm going to do from now is I'm going to go ahead and put a bunch of rivets on this thing. Essentially make it all riveted because I guess it would be. Uh, and then we'll go from there. Okay, so I have messed up a little bit, as I always do, and uh, this bit right here, I didn't actually attach together properly, and now it is a bit bugged, so I can't actually put anything on them, so that's why we've got this big plate right here, because that sort of does our job for us. Unfortunately, uh, it is different on both sides as well, but that doesn't really matter too much. So, I have added rivets everywhere else, I do think the rivets actually make it look quite good. I am, oh, I can't actually put this right here, because it will add detail to it. And it will make them wooden, which is very, very odd looking. But we're going to go ahead and add those there anyway. Okay, so we have the car. We actually have the car. Uh, this is going to be an interwar one, so that's fine. Uh, and we're going to go to engine. I want it to be quite fast. I do actually want it to be quite fast. So we're going to try a two liter uh, eight cylinder engine. Go. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Obviously, it doesn't really turn very well, but that's fine. Off it goes. Okay, that's sick. Yeah. Okay, our wheel does actually poke through our little fender at the back, so I'm going to change that a little bit too. Uh, but once we've done that, everything else should be fine. So if I can grab this, this, and this, and I can move all of them up a tiny bit. Oh, that's really annoying that it does it that way, but there you go. Okay, there we go. Nice. We'll leave it like this. Okay, sick. So now that we've done that then, we do need our gun on the top, and our gun on the top is going to be kind of special in the sense of it's going to be very overpowered, but hopefully still cool. So, let's go ahead and do it! Yes! Uh, free from hulls, free from turrets, yes! Go ahead and smack this guy directly on the top right there, excellent! Uh, the diameter of this is going to be a lot less until it fits, and that should be awesome. In fact, diameter a lot less than that, to about there, okay, awesome. It does fit on the back, it does fit on the front, just about. Uh, and we can leave it just like so. So, I'm going to go ahead and make a round turret, and I'll be back with you guys in a second, where we add the gun. That's going to be super cool. Okay, so there we go. I've made it round. Uh, I figured that bit would be boring for you guys, so that's why I skipped it. Anyway, uh, it was just going to be a round gun thingamabobby, and I was just going to leave it essentially just like this. However, I might actually add a back to this because I think that would be kind of cool. But let's go ahead and extend this upwards, and then if we want a back, we could go ahead and extend a back off this piece, uh, which will work. So go to the sides. There we go. Go to this side. Extend it. There we go. Bring it backwards like so. And squidge it all in with the squidgy tool. Not that much. Uh, just like this. There you go. So it looks a little bit like a tank turret now, actually. So we don't want that. We don't want that. We're just going to have a round thingamabobby. Uh, then on top of this, we're going to go ahead and make it rounded. Because I think that'll make it look good. So go ahead and add another piece. Go ahead and round it off there. Round it off here. And essentially leave it like that. That's quite a big turret. But it needs to be. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to Mantlets. It is into war, so we're actually going to go ahead and use one of these guys and smash that directly onto there like so. That is awesome. Uh, we're then going to go ahead and get a gunner's sight. That is going to be located directly above it. Um, a lot of you guys get kind of upset by me putting gunner's sights like this, but it's kind of the easiest bit to put it. Um, so that the gunner can actually shoot properly. And it's easier to shoot, so that's good. Anyway, go back to the gun, and we need to change it. We do need to change the cannon itself. It is going to be a 30 millimeter gun. Uh, the propellant length of said gun is actually going to be quite long. There we go. And now we need a reload time that is quick. Okay, because that's that's our next thing. Um, so, actually, before we do that, let's go ahead and make this way smaller. There we go. So the gun mount itself is actually tiny. Um, and that's fine. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay, so from there, we're going to go ahead and go back to compartments really quickly. We're going to make the basket space a lot bigger. Yes. We're going to have no armor on any of this, by the way. Literally no armor. Uh, but that should be fine. It should be okay. Um, so, now that we've done that, what else do we need to do? We need to actually add ammunition to this thing. So, let's get some ammo. We're going to have a hell of a lot of rounds in this. 
Like, a lot, a lot of rounds. There you go. It's going to be AP. That's fine. And how many do we have? 160. Let's go with... Let's go with 224. Yeah, we're going to have none in the actual car itself. It's all going to be in the turret. And that's it. This is going to be crazy. It's going to be fun, though. It's going to be very fun. Okay, so from there, we're going to go ahead and add a Commander's Cupola to the top because we currently do not have one. So let's go ahead and smash this up here. Make it really, really big and whack it directly on the top. We're then going to go ahead and shrink it down so that it fits. And actually, we're going to make it a little bit smaller. We're going to make it a lot smaller than this. There we go. Make it shrink. There we go. Shrink it down a lot more and leave it on the top. That's fine. That is actually okay. Go ahead and bring it backwards a little bit and leave it there. Okay, so now that we've done this, uh, let's go ahead and do a little bit more. So utilities, I'm going to go ahead and attach these guys to the back like so. Uh, anything else that needs adding, I guess these guys could go on the front end uh, like this. They're just going to be mounted on the side. And we're going to go ahead and add some more buckets and spades to this side right here. Anything else that needs to be added, we can, but I don't know where it should go. Don't know. No idea. Uh, so, let's save this uh, currently. Let's go back to this. Go ahead and make the basket space bigger so we can fit everybody on board. And then what we need to do from there is decorate the actual turret, give it some rivets and stuff like that. From there, we're going to go ahead and give it extra loader space, and we're going to make it sort of like an auto cannon slash machine gun, because it's only 30 millimeters. Anyway, let's get to it. Okay, so decorations have been added. As you guys can see, it is riveted now, which is awesome. I added some ladders on the back sideways, and I've also added some uh, little thingamabobbies, like little ears. I don't know why I've done that, but I have. Anyway, if we go to the rear, I guess we could actually add some sort of um, hatch there as well if we needed to. Uh, but I don't know if we need it. I don't know if we need it at all. But I'm going to go to the rear. I'm going to go try and go to the center. I'm then going to go ahead and push this bigger. So we're going to do this kind of thing, and then we're going to go ahead and push it inwards so that hopefully it sort of fits well. It doesn't really fit on there, actually, so kind of want to get rid of it, really. Kind of do, kind of do, kind of do, going to. I'm going to do it. Okay, cool. So we got rid of it. Let's go ahead and save this as is. I'm now going to go ahead and increase the load of space, and we're going to have an auto cannon. It's going to be great. Okay, guys, here it is. So this is our armored car. How well is it going to work? Are you ready? Three, two, one. Nice. Okay, this is going to be sick. This is going to be so cool. So, I'm going to go ahead and give it a livery really quickly. As you guys can see, we are using too much space, but don't worry about that. Um, it's all for the fun of it anyway, so I'm, I'm really happy with the way we've got it. Anyway, um, I don't know if I want a flat camo on it or like a actual camo on it. I think I want a flat camo. So, we're going to go with saturation. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't know what we want. Let's go with slightly green. Uh, in fact, very green. Let's go with green green. Uh, brightness lower. Yeah, saturation lower. Let's go with like this kind of This kind of color. There we go. Okay, that looks cool. We're then gonna go ahead and add a, a f uh, Emblem to it. We're gonna go with a British one. Here we go We're gonna go ahead and shove that right there And we're also gonna go ahead and shove it on the front too just because we need to make sure everybody knows we're the British It's kind of how it works uh, I'm also going to smack one on the back too. There we go. Okay, we're ready to go. Let's go ahead and save it as it is and send it into battle. Okay, scenarios, ambush. Let's go ahead and do it. And then we might even try dunes as well. Whether we can actually do dunes or not do dunes, I don't know, but we'll see. Okay, get in there, boys. Let's see if we can win this. All right, that guy's dead. That's good. I see another one. I see one really far away. I'll deal with him. There we go. Dealt with. This guy's dead. Excellent. Continue. <laughs> Continue. Oh, guy up on the left, guys. Guy up on the left. Dead. Okay, next. Go, go, go. I mean, I, I am kind of cheating with the fact that we have an auto cannon on this thing, but it's fun. It's a fun little vehicle. Oh, can we even get through that guy's armor? I don't know whether we'll be able to get through his armor, but let's get up there. Attack! Charge! Alright, so we are here, and the guy is still reversing. Uh, let's try and track him, actually. That's that's probably a good idea. I think we'll be able to get through his tracks. Uh, or not, actually. Turns out. Turns out we might not be able to get through his tracks. Or his side. Oh, we've gone through. We've gone through. He's dead. He's a goner. Amazing. Nice. We did it, guys. Armored car for the win. Alright, we're going to go into the next map and try and do the same thing. 
Alright, guys, now we're on dunes. So, this is kind of the map that you... Actually, wait, hang on. I want to make sure that we, we can't definitely... Or we definitely can't fit everybody in this, because we might be able to. So, what I want to do is quickly go to mobility, go to fuel tank, and get rid of a bunch of this. That's going to give us so much room. Then we're going to go to compartments. We're going to go to this guy. Basket space is going to be a lot higher, because it needs to be. We're going to go to this. Uh, the commander is going to be... Um, I don't know how to do this, actually. If I do this, uh, I want to get rid of this gunner, but if we do that, we get rid of it. Let's say the driver is also the commander, okay, uh, which is this one and this one. Let's say the gunner is also the loader. We only need two people. We only need two people. Okay, right. We've got two people. Good. Let's go ahead and save this really quickly as our armored car. There we go. Save. Uh, do I want to overwrite it? Probably. Okay, so we've got a... Yeah, okay. Gonna loader. Save again. We shoot every... Two seconds. Okay, the driver must be in the hole. So what we'll do is we'll actually bring this down and we'll place it back here. So it, it still looks okay and that's fine. Uh, and then what we'll do from there is actually add one of these guys. Uh, to the up top of this, to the up top of this, attach it onto there like so, and we'll attach a bunch of these as well. But that's okay, so that's fine. Right, so now we should be able to drive. Okay, good. Uh, go back to compartments. Yes, basket space, a hell of a lot less, I guess. Uh, but what we do need to do is actually add more loaders. So let's go ahead and save this really quickly. I'm going to add loaders again, but hopefully not too many. Okay, so I've managed to do it where we haven't added too many, but uh, there is something going on in the front which is a bit annoying. So crew actually do fit this time, uh, but not everything actually fits properly, which is super duper annoying. So what is taking up all of this space? Well, uh, apparently the engine is quite big and the turret is also really big, uh, but the fuel tank isn't that big. So what we might do is go to crew, um, give this guy a lot less room, in fact loads less room. Uh, if I can, I'm going to go to the basket space of this, and I'm going to make it a little bit less, and there we go, we fit everybody in, and we're ready to go. Okay. Okay, yeah, no, that's acceptable. That is actually acceptable. Now we've got it all in the parameters, so that's good, right? I think so. Okay, I don't think anybody on the enemy team has actually died yet, uh, but I have been hearing a lot of shots, like a crazy amount of shots. Uh, so hopefully we do actually kill one of them soon. Um, unfortunately, I don't know whether that's going to happen, but let's go ahead and try. So, I'm going to shoot this guy in the side. He might actually kill me here. There we go, he's dead. Okay, excellent, that did actually work. Don't know where the other enemies are. There's actually one over there, but there is one behind me as well. Over there. So we might have to deal with him later. But let's go ahead and turn this way and see if we can kill this guy. His armor is thicker than what my gun can go through at the moment. But if I aim a little bit lower... I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through this guy. Charge the enemy! Let's go. I'm going to leave a 1v1 situation behind me and go for this guy instead. Which I think will be fine. We do have a lot of rounds. We've got loads left over, so hopefully no one's going to run out of ammo. I don't think anyone will, but maybe. Anyway, let's get up here. And start firing. Okay. Their armor is pretty effective against 30 mil. But if we get behind them and we shoot them in the side, or in the back, sorry. Is he already dead, actually? I have a feeling this one's already dead. Yeah. That one might have already been dead. Okay, whatever. No, no, I killed it. I did kill it. Okay, it was alive. It's just not very alive. I think someone might have killed its gun. A uh, driver, maybe. Alright, I think this one might be dead too. That one might be dead also. It's annoying when you don't know which ones are actually dead, isn't it? I don't know. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Alright, let me change cars really quickly. Change car, change car, change car. This one... Nope, change car. Change car. Is it this one that we need? Uh, I Essentially, I'm trying to find... The, the one that was out that way, but I don't think we can. Okay, everybody's just driving around in circles now. It's like the wacky racers. What's going on here? 
All right, everybody, move out. Go, go, go. They seem to be just driving off in this direction, so I'm going to follow them. I, I don't know where they're going, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh, shots are being fired. There's an enemy right here. Oh, boy. He's turning his gun. Shoot him. Don't let him destroy us. No. He shot me. I think he shot me again. Oh, my. Kill him. Somebody kill him. I'm shooting him in his vent. Maybe that'll kill him quicker. I don't know. Oh, he's killed one of us. He's going to try to kill me. What did I just wrap? Oh, he's at the edge of the map. Oh, no. I don't know if I can get through that armor at all. Armored car just killed another armored car. Okay, interesting. I'm going to try and drive around this guy. I can't actually shoot him in his butt because I can't get there, but... Let's go ahead and try and shoot him from above on his vent. Torrent ring? I don't know where I'm going to be able to kill this guy from. Oh, he killed me. Okay, that's really annoying. He's at the edge of the map, so we can't circle him. We can't get around the back of him. Yikes. Oh, never mind. He's decided to turn around. Quick, light him up. <laughs> light him up. Go, go, go. Okay. I can't actually... I can't get past this guy. Okay, here we go. Nice. Get in there, boys. Let's go. Charge the enemy. Yes, I got him. Okay, we have to shoot them in the back in their uh, their little doorway there uh, in order to kill them, but we did eventually get there, so that's good. I'm going to go ahead and continue on to this side of the map because I think that has to be where the enemies are. It has to be. Oh, it looks like we found one of them. Okay. Oh, maybe even two of them. Yeah, I think they're both here. So as long as I can aim straight down onto this guy, we should be able to kill him. Oh, boy. All right, he's dead. And then the other guy's over there. I think I'm going to have to drive down and shoot him, but that's okay. Let's get there. Yeah, let's go. Charge the enemy. I love the idea of this thing actually working. Like, it's crazy. It is actually kind of crazy. Especially because we did it all in the parameters too. So all of the space constraints are actually fine. How are we? There we go. Okay, he's dead, finally. All right, good. So I'm actually really pleased with this thing. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below if you guys want to see anything else. But for now, thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time. Goodbye.